Guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks to everybody who has liked, commented or subscribed so far, I really appreciate it. And now, on to today's episode. Now yeah, let's go check up on Pearson now. What kind of mission could Pearson have for us? It's gonna be interesting. Say whatever you're doing well, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Yeah, well, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Such a gentleman, Arthur is. <laughs> now they're probably gonna run into trouble anyway, so she's gonna get her shot. Literally. <laughs> you cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't just start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Oh man, poor Mr. Pearson. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, will his mother understand if he had written her he's an outlaw? Yeah, probably not. So I guess, uh, yeah. All right, that was a short ride to Rhodes. So let's see what mischief we're gonna get into here. Now, how can buying groceries go wrong, though? Uh, probably on the way home or something. Okay. Oh, that was a glitch. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. 
We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, and you buy us some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Wow, she's really itching to use that gun, isn't she? <laughs> Even if it means just buying vegetables at gunpoint. Oh man, that would be... <laughs> I would not put that beneath her, though. Alright, let's go check the mail. We can actually get quests by uh, retrieving mail. So sometimes uh, mail for various characters. Often for Arthur, even. It's like last time we got uh, the mail from Mary and had a whole side quest for it. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. No, thank you. Bye now. Ah, that was quick. Okay, so let's go back. So I wonder now, are we going to find Sadie already in trouble? Will she have shot the uh, <laughs> the vegetable shopkeeper or something? I mean, she, mu she must have done something wrong. Now, is she in a fight? No, she's just talking. Okay, she behaved. Did not expect that. I think this is everything. Here. Morning. Take that for yourself, okay? No, oh, she's even tipping him. back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Yeah, that would be bad for everyone. <laughs> hey. Uh oh. What uh what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider Country. Keep it cool. You see. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, she had an itchy finger finger. Yeah, I was certain she would shoot first. Well, that was over quick. Oh, okay, there's one straggler left. The bad thing is she is not doing any shooting, so I don't know how satisfied she'll be. Now actually she is, okay. <laughs> I'll take that back. Wow, she is not sweating it. Well, she might be crazy, but uh, at least she's uh, brave crazy. <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh, come on. Let her have her day in the sun, man. I think we're good here, Arthur. Not shooting. All right. I'll drive us back. Well, she seems to uh, be happy again. <laughs> no, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. 
We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful! So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> I'll be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. Oh man, I like Sadie. I really like Sadie. She's gonna be a fine addition to this gang. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. All right, then. Nicely done.